friends. It is 5.45 in the morning and I am just folding some clothes that have been in the dryer um, since last night. I was too tired to do them last night so I'm just going to fold those. Grady is still sleeping and I'm hoping it stays that way so I can get a few more things done. I am also going to um, pick out his school clothes. Uh, his outfit for school which is something that I do every morning I try to do it sometimes the night before but I was just so tired last night so I'm just gonna pick out his outfit fold some clothes I have another load going and then I'm gonna go downstairs and um, make some coffee and just catch up on some emails and I'm probably just gonna pick up a couple things in his room in the playroom uh, from last night and then gonna get ready so I'm starting my day I've been up since 5 and this is kind of a typical morning for me while he is still sleeping good morning my friends it is Thursday morning at 7 30 and I've been up for two and a half hours um, pretty much I get my stuff done in the morning while Grady is sleeping normally he'd be up by now um, yeah, he'd normally be up at like 6.45, 7 o'clock, but he is not up, so I had coffee, I did a little laundry, uh, I folded some laundry, um, and then early, early, I did all my morning routine with my packing my husband's lunch. I just make him his coffee, I pack him like a cooler, or like a, one of those big thermoses just with ice water. Um, I just make him like a breakfast sandwich or a bagel, and he leaves by like... 5.30, 5.45 um, to be at work in Charlotte, which is like 30 to 40 minutes away, but luckily he doesn't hit traffic because of the uh, how early he goes. So now I'm just getting ready to finally make my breakfast. Um, I got ready really quick because Grady's sleeping, um, and I'm going to be going to the gym. I just got a gym membership <clears throat> a couple weeks ago, so um, I've been going and working with a trainer. I'm not one of those people that's like hardcore about the gym and have to go to the trainer every day. It's not like that. I just want to get more fit. I wouldn't mind losing some weight. I, it's not that I think I'm fat. I just want to tone up and kind of get my uh, before baby body back, which um, I think is definitely doable. And I'm just going to go to the gym like three times a week maybe four if I can push it to that. I haven't figured out yet what I'm gonna do in the summer when Grady is not in school. Um, I'll probably have to switch when I go, like to the evening when my husband is home if I wanna go. Um, but now I'm gonna eat some breakfast. Uh, one of my resolutions for the new year is to try to eat breakfast because normally I don't eat breakfast at all. I just have like two cups of coffee, which, so um, I'm gonna eat breakfast in a little while. I have my gym workout clothes on. I just have like a lightweight uh, workout hoodie and then underneath I just have like a lightweight Adidas shirt and then just some sweatpants. Um, I actually had to purchase some workout clothes and I didn't realize how expensive they were. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to eat breakfast and then Grady should be up and then we will have our normal morning routine. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So for breakfast, I'm just having some of the um, <clears throat> Publix, the organic maple brown sugar instant oatmeal. It takes like two seconds to make and has two grams of fat. Um, and it just gives me energy. So I just uh, made that in the microwave and then um, I just sliced up half of an organic banana, kind of really thin. And then I put a little bit of cinnamon on top just for extra flavor. Um, having a glass of water, because I really, truly don't drink enough water. Sadly enough, there are days when I really, I don't think I really drink any. So lately I've started drinking water with dinner, water um, with breakfast in the morning, where normally I would just have coffee. So I've already had two cups of coffee. Like I said, I've been up for a few, you know, couple hours. So I'm having uh, just a glass of water, some oatmeal, and hoping I can get through this before Grady gets up, because I am so shocked that he is still sleeping. So I had to show you guys my uh, life proof case for my phone. Um, I had a really expensive case that stupid me bought at the Verizon store when I got my S5. Um, I don't know what it was called, but some of you might know what I'm talking about. It was like that rose gold um, brownish kind of shimmery case. 
Well, yeah, it broke. Um, before Christmas, it broke. Like, broke to the point where it couldn't be fixed. So I bought, like, a cheapy blue one at one of those, like, mall kiosks just to have something on my phone because the S5 is really, really paper thin. Uh, you can't tell in the case how small it is and how thin it is. But anyways, um, I bought that blue one temporarily, and then I researched um, online for just something really durable. And LifeProof came up, and I was like, wait a minute, I have life proof, a LifeProof case on my um, iPad. So I'll show you guys. Hold on one second. So as you can see, this is the, the iPad Mini. And it's the same thing, literally, except for your phone. Um, and I actually never knew LifeProof made um, cases for the S5. I thought it was just the iPhone. So um, my phone is the rose gold. It's kind of looking more brown on film, but it's actually a true rose gold. Um, and what I like about the LifeProof case is not only is it like waterproof, fireproof, drop proof, all of that. Um, I like that you can see the phone through the back of the case. And also, it doesn't muffle my speakerphone and interfere with my camera or anything like that. And that cheapy blue stupid one that I bought interfered with my speakerphone. Like if I was on speakerphone, I could barely hear the person. And this, I feel like, actually amplifies it. So I'm really liking it. It was expensive. LifeProof products in general are expensive. Like this case for my mini was like $130 just for the case. And then this case, it's so sad that I don't remember exactly how much, but I think it was like 60 or 70 bucks just for the case. Now I know that sounds like a lot, but if you consider the fact that it's going to protect your um, phone or device, you know, your tablet or whatever, it sort of factors out that it does make sense. Um, because that cute brown one that I bought was the same price as this almost and it wasn't waterproof fireproof drop proof and all that and my son literally throws this around stomps on it literally guys throws it stomps it has thrown it in the tub um, this thing's been through the ringer and back and it works perfectly still so yeah that's my little life proof case review I cannot believe he is still sleeping it is Almost 8 o'clock, still sleeping. This never happens. Somebody decided to wake up at 8.30. Late sleeper, so Grady's just having um, a half of a big bagel. It's a sesame, you want to show? Sesame bagel. And I put, for myself, I use country crock, but I use this for him when I have it because my mom eats this and it's obviously healthier. And then he's having like three quarters of an organic banana, some cranberry berry juice. You want to show your crayons? Blue, yellow, pink, and orange. And he is just having breakfast and watching some Doc McStuffins. And I am watching some um, It's Judy's Life. And that's what we are doing right now. So, my goals for today, Thursday. Um... At 10.15, we have to leave to bring Grady to school. We have to bring him to school. It's like 10 minutes away. Um, and then after I drop him off at school, I gotta go to the post office really quick. And then I'm gonna go right to the gym. Um, I'm not gonna work with my trainer today. today. I'll probably wait till the weekend. So today, I'm just gonna do probably about 45 minutes of cardio. I usually do um, the treadmill and the elliptical. So I split the time between 45 minutes between treadmill and elliptical and then um, after that I will do about a half an hour of weights and I don't like pump iron but I just try to do some weights to tone my arms and my legs and just my body in general and that is it again I'm not a hardcore gym junkie um, I'm only gonna go three four times a week um, that's all I can really manage that's all I really want to go I just want to get fit um, so I'm gonna do that after the gym, it'll probably be 12.30ish, so I'll probably just, actually, I think I have to go to Target. I have a list, but I have to, I think I have to do like a couple errands. I have to get like a couple things at Target. Oh, and I also might go to Ulta because for my birthday, they sent me like a $10 um, reward certificate, and I have to use it by the end of this month, which is Saturday. So today being Friday, or today being Thursday, tomorrow cleaning my house, 
I have to use it probably today because tomorrow I won't. Tomorrow, Fridays I just clean my house when Grady's at school. I don't leave my house. I just bring him to school, come home, clean my house, and go pick him up. So today after the gym, I might go to Ulta and Target really quick, and then I'll come home really quick, eat lunch. I'm going to have leftovers from last night, which was some dirty rice with kibasi. So I'll have that for lunch, um, and then I'll go pick Grady up from school, and that is my day. So the three and a half hours he's at school really goes by fast, really fast. Um, so Grady is done with breakfast now, and I think I'm just going to start... Well, we'll probably play for a little while and then I'll get him ready to go to school. Okay, so I know a lot of people have said, please do a video showing what you pack ready for school lunch. And I promise I am working on that as we speak. Um, I just have to compile more clips and edit. But today, since I'm vlogging, I figured um, I would share how, how, um, how it all works with his lunch. Um, he does have a hot lunch at school, um, so they send the menu home. Um, there's usually two choices every day. I would say half the time what's on the menu I know he won't eat, so I don't bother sending in money. Um, I just pack him a full lunch. Today, one of the choices is chicken nuggets with mac and cheese. I think he will eat that. Um, I'm pretty sure because he eats it at home. Obviously, it's not mom's cooking, so I just put a little note saying what to get for him because there's two choices. The other one is pork, and he won't eat that. And then I just put the $1.50 in there, which is how much it is for just uh, this entree. And then I did pack him some snacks and drinks. Um, he's only at school, guys, for three and a half hours. So believe me, if he doesn't eat the hot lunch, he's not going to starve with just snacks. It's three and a half hours. So I just packed him for snack um, this organic slammer, which is just um, like a fruit pouch. I packed him like a small little water, a juice box an Annie's fruit snack, an Annie's cheddar bunny, and then in this little Tupperware, he likes the um, Earth's Best pop snacks, the veggie, they're like spinach, little rice cakes, so I just pack those. Um, and again, hopefully he'll just eat the hot lunch and it won't be any kind of an issue, but if not, um, he has snacks and stuff, but if it was a day where he did not like what they were serving for the hot lunch, then obviously I would pack him more food. Um, but again, three and a half hours, he is not going to starve, and he also eats breakfast before he goes to school. So this is his little lunch box, and this is his little uh, backpack. It's just the uh, Stargile Mini Bee, and this lunch box fits perfectly in here. It's so hard to zip with one hand, but if it's perfectly in there and it's perfect size for him um, a three-year-old this backpack is perfect so that is all ready for him and I'm gonna have to go wake him up now because it is after 8 o'clock okay I'm at Target and really with the bathing suits it's January I really just can't with these bathing suits right now I feel like every year it's earlier and earlier and I mean look they're everywhere it's making me depressed okay so this is what I got at Target um, I actually just went in to get some of these uh, smart waters. I know water's water to most people, but for some reason I just really like this water. I like the size, I like the spout, and for some reason they just motivate me to go to the gym. I know that's weird, but whatever works, and they're a dollar. So I got seven, one's in the car, I drank half on the way home. Um, I got this small little eight pack of Diet Coke. Um, I'm trying to cut down on soda in general. I used to drink a lot of diet soda but now I've been limiting myself to like one or two a day which for me is really good um and I don't drink the diet because I'm on a diet I just prefer the diet taste I know that's odd to some people but I got the small ones these are like the little 7.5 ounce so I figure maybe I can cut myself down to one or two of these a day this size um so I got those I got just a random little chicken dipper thing for my husband's lunch tomorrow thank god it's Friday I got some craisins because I thought they would be good to top um, since I eat breakfast now. I thought these would be good to put on my oatmeal in the morning. I got my K-Cups. They were actually on sale for $8.99. Usually I think they're like $10 or $11. Some Cool Ranch Doritos. I got one gallon of water for my Keurig. I do my grocery shopping on the weekends, so this is just kind of what I needed um, 
to get me through apparently because I only went in there for water and produce but um, whenever I'm in Target I always remember other things that I need so I got uh, some yogurt for Grady this is the blueberry and strawberry um, I actually stumbled on these in the bread aisle they are the banana bread um, English muffins so I thought they'd be good for breakfast in the morning um, I got some of my facial moisturizer that I'm almost out of in the winter I go through so much face moisturizer that's like 10 bucks I got these because I tried a sample of them last week and they're really good they're the chocolate chip cherry tort bars I got some hash for or some diced potatoes with onions because I'm gonna make breakfast for dinner tonight um, instead of the quiche because I forgot to take out the pie crust and it's frozen so I have to improvise so I'll make the breakfast for dinner I got a small thing of just the organic raspberries because Grady goes through like two or three of these a week. I got a small thing of half and half just for cooking for a couple recipes. I got two big sweet potatoes for recipes. I actually got four of the Granny Smith apples and ate one on the way home because I'm starving. Um, as I, I just lost a potato and then I just got um, an organic cucumber. And my purse is a hot mess. Um, it's Thursday, so it's getting to the point where I need to clean it out. I have all kinds of crap in there I have to clean out. I had a really good workout at the gym. Um, since I only go three to four times a week, when I go, I really try to make it count. So I did like 30 minutes of intense cardio and burned like 300 calories. I did some weight training after. Um, got a couple packages in the mail. Alyssa, if you're watching this, I can't wait to open this. Thank you so much. I know this is my late... Uh, birthday gift. I got another package um, from a friend that I can't, I just can't show because the address, I don't want to show addresses. But anyways, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed my little morning in the life slash while Grady's at school um, video. I'm actually freaking absolutely starving. So I'm going to just eat uh, my leftovers from last night, which is just some dirty rice with uh, veggies and kibasi. I'm going to heat this up in the microwave, add a little hot sauce, probably have another glass of water, open my packages, um, sit down for a few minutes, eat, just relax, um, and then I go pick radio from school. So that is it for now. So I just got home from the gym and I went to Target to get water and um, a couple, literally a couple things, and ended up spending 60 bucks. So if you guys do that, Two, let me know because I can't be the only one that goes there for three things and gets $60 worth. So I'm just going to unload this and show you guys what I got. <sighs> so I'm sitting down to eat. I'm going to just flip through my Ulta catalog. Alyssa, I love my birthday gifts. I don't know if you're going to be mad at me for showing them, but um, she got me a bath and uh, body shop gift set, um, which is the coconut scent, which I love. My favorite uh, wallflower scent, which is the mahogany teak wood. For my diffusers this made me laugh some allergy medicine because I have really bad allergies and it literally made me laugh so thank you I will try these my favorite candy mambas the girl pays attention and then all kinds of little like she got me this um, roller ball which is the Oscar scent Oscar de la Renta she got me a Smashbox lip um, a lip lacquer and then a philosophy hand lotion which is a snow angel um, and then a Fakai, um, like a Shea Tamer, a little notebook, and your card made me crack up. I can't show it because Alyssa is very inappropriate. So, um, my camera's going to die, guys. I'm, you're not missing much. I'm just going to flip through my Ulta catalog, eat my lunch, get a drink, um, put my goodies away, play with my goodies, and then honestly, probably just change my clothes, throw a little makeup on so I don't look like a wet dog. And then just go pick up Grady from school. And then we're just going to play and do our normal routine. We just play until Daddy gets home. I'm going to make breakfast for dinner. And just relax the rest of the night. But I know you guys, a lot of people expressed interest uh, both in comments and in messages that they wanted me to vlog. So I can't promise I will vlog every day, every week. But I will do more vlogs and make an effort to. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what my morning routine is what kind of things I do when Grady's at school. Um, again, I don't go to the gym every day, but if I wasn't, wasn't going to be at the gym today, I probably just would have been home doing things around the house, laundry, filming videos, editing videos. My life's pretty boring. 
but I appreciate and I'm very flattered that you all wanted to see more. So here I am. I know I look like a hot mess because all my makeup that I had on is all gone. So um, have a great day, guys, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.